Welcome to Media Corner. Uh, today I'm going through a new feature called Shape Layer. Let's get started by logging into Screenscape. So let's go to screenscape.com, go up to login, click on Screenscape 5. My information is already here, so I'm just going to click this right here. And I want to create a media item from scratch, so I'll click on the plus button at the bottom here, and click on blank canvas. So the uh, media item that I'm editing is on the left, and on the right is where I do the editing. So if I click on the plus button here, this brings up the different layer types. Uh, this is where shape layer is located, and this is the feature we're talking about today. So if you click on it, it creates a blue rectangle, but it's a lot more than that. Just by grabbing the handles here and resizing, I can create a pretty effective banner for text. So that can be overlaid over top of a photo, um, and just with a couple layers, a shape layer, a text layer, and a photo layer, you have yourself a pretty awesome looking template. Uh, so using these same principles, um, the possibilities are pretty endless. Um, what I can do is I can grab the shape layer again here and resize this. And if I put an image behind the shape layer, um, the shape layer provides an area for text, logos, or any other information I want to put on, uh, on the shape layer. So I'll just put the shape layer above the photo here, and now I have a space to put whatever information I want to. I can also uh, grab it again here and resize it, and use the same principle, but have the shape layer acting as more of a bottom bar. Um, I can change the color by simply going up to the drop down in the shape layer right here, and clicking on the background color, and selecting a new color. So what I'll do now is I'll just hide this photo and show you some more possibilities with the shape layer. So I'll just um, resize it to more of a square here. And I will turn this square into a circle by going to Add Style and Border Radius. And if I just um, move this slider on Border Radius to the right, you can see this affects the square quite a bit, so it can either be a square with rounded edges or a full circle by moving the slider just a little bit more to the right. So you might have to play with the uh, handles a little bit to make it look more like a circle, but there you go. It's a circle. Um, if I want to make a copy of that, it's super easy. Just click on the drop down here and go to duplicate layer. And I have two circles. can do this again and create three circles. So just with one simple shape layer, I can create a numerous amount of things. It's pretty awesome. So I want to play around with some more styles here. Um, to make them more visible, what I'll do is I'll turn on the background photo. And um, I'll try a different style by going up to add style again on the shape layer. And we can play around with drop shadow. So if I turn my drop shadow color um, to black, Now I can just um, move this slider more to the right to increase the blur radius, and uh, that's an awesome place to throw a logo, um, or text, or whatever you want. I can also obviously, you know, move it to the center, throw a logo on top of there, that would look really great as well. I can turn the opacity down on the shape layer as well, so that creates a neat effect kind of looks like a sun. I'm just trying to open up your brain here to some possibilities with the shape layer. Um, one more thing I could do is I could um, add a filter to it. If I wanted to give it maybe some, some blur. So I can just turn the blur up a bit. Creates a neat effect as well. So a cool use for this would be um, displaying text over a busy photo. You know, you, you could just resize a shape layer that has a blur on it, um, turn down the opacity slightly, change the color if you want. Um, and then if I throw text on top of that shape layer, my text will be, will be visible over top of pretty much any photograph. So that's kind of a neat hack to use a shape layer for as well. Another excellent use case for shape layer would be for bringing in your brand colors into your media items. So I'll show you what I mean here. Uh, what I'll do is I'll um, open up a template here. Um, 
one that uses a shape layer. And I'll use one of our new finance templates. So this blue rectangle here is a shape layer. And I can change the color of that by um, choosing one of our curated colors or entering my own hex code right here. So if I change this to orange and I change the this text here to orange and I uh, change the background color of this other text to orange, I have a pretty awesome looking template that could suit my brand if my brand colors were orange. So that's another awesome use case for shape layers. Thanks for watching everyone. If you have any questions about shape layers or templates, um, my name is Aiden. You can message me anytime you want at mediacorner at screenscape.com. Take care out there and have a great day. Bye.